crazy. Like, if you wanted to retire somewhere, like, super peaceful, look at this, dude. We're, like, literally in the middle of town just walking around. And we're, like, the only people here. So, um, and if you look in the distance, you know, the town, the main town strip fades away into a hill over Lake Reedy. So, this is a great town to explore. It says Ramon there. I don't know what Ramon did. But he did something to get his name on a building. Or maybe Ramon was a woman. I'm not sure. But look at this. This. I'm the only person here. This is all mine. Except for this Chevy. And you don't have to pay to park. That's what I love about Chevy trucks. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Just sit here and feel the wind coming off this lake. Being the only person in this town, basically. Look at this. Amazing. You know, they still have their Christmas lights up for some reason. This is an awesome little Florida town. For somebody who really wants a very slow-paced lifestyle. I mean, this is... If you were, like, 120 years old, and you want to feel like... You're back in the 1920s or something. This will be it. It's a free public boat ramp. Look how clear that water is. These properties have a beautiful view. This is Frostproof, Florida. I mean, what a nice little place. Affordable, by the way, if you're looking to retire somewhere where the people are friendly, cool, chill, um, lakes to go fishing on. This is this is the real beautiful places of the United States of America. This isn't some Lehigh Acres. This is frostproof Florida. I mean, look at these see the little mountains up there. There's kind of like a little hill. The houses on that hill are overlooking that lake. You know, there's no crowds here. This isn't like Lazy Springs. My friend was just telling me he was in Lacey Springs, which is a little park area in Lehigh where you go to mud or whatever. And he said it was packed. Look at this. There's nobody here. You can just go out there, put a boat in the water, and enjoy life, man. This is the real America. This is the real United States, you know? Small town. Houses are affordable. Weather's amazing. Look at this place. This is the real deal. These are the small little towns where somebody can think about retiring one day. Affordable. Now, if you're a young person with a family, they're nice too. I don't know. For some reason, people are just so afraid to move their families into a small little town like this. Honestly, whatever they're afraid of isn't working because when you see the way people are turning out, whatever mindset they have behind moving to a big city with their jobs, it ain't working out for them because when you see the situation that families and, and this people in general are in today um we actually have love bugs that have died on our camera screen so let me wipe that off but there's actually a dead love bug on our camera People helping people helping people. It's a care center. Loving our neighbors and making a difference year after year. So, yeah, it's just, a, it's just an amazing little town. Look at this. I'm like literally in the middle of the road, guys. There's nobody here. It's just so small town, USA. Love it. Quiet little, quiet little town of Frostproof, Florida. Lots of really old houses in great shape. Nice little cottages. Let's get to the town center. Rolling hills, lakes, amazing place. Very friendly country people. You can make an Adam Sander movie out here. Yeah, the air feels clean. I think back to town. Which way is back to town? Which way is back to town? 
Maybe you should follow that snapping. Oh, there's the frostproof tank up there. So look at this, guys. Look at these. Look at these little cottages. Let's head back in the tunnel. house Town of Frostproof. So this is the quiet, charming little town of Frostproof, Florida. All right, everybody, we are in Frostproof, Florida. This is one of my favorite small towns in Florida. This little town is between some lakes, and uh, there's beautiful, uh, beautiful homes here. Look at this tree, Katie. Gorgeous. Mira esa mata, papi. Como tiene como espina, eh? This is a, a beautiful little country town situated here. And uh, it's, it's kind of south of Orlando. North of Sebring. It's a very nice little town. I mean, if you're looking for a small little town, this is a great one. Um has a little lake with some Lake Reedy that has some amazing bass fishing. You see the chickens running around. I mean, this is so beautiful. You see a mango tree back there behind that behind the chicken. So they have uh, it's still warm enough where you can grow mangoes. Now they call it frost proof, but it's really not frost proof. That, that was a marketing strategy to sell houses to uh, people from up north. So when they were building this town. The realtors um, were savvy, just like they are today. I don't think they're any different. And they decided to call this place frostproof because that would really uh, look good on the uh, on the buyers from up north. They thought, "Wow, this place is frostproof," and then they, you know, it was just a, a marketing strategy which worked because, as you can see, the town has great little houses. That might have been a result of that marketing strategy so there's some great little houses here this town is really a little hidden gem in florida it's one of those places um that most people don't even know exists you know one of those places you wouldn't and there's no main roads through here 27 cuts to the west so there aren't too many main roads cutting through here there's a bad pot furniture store that's a good sign just passing us now is a school bus full of migrant workers coming back from uh, a day's work in the fields. It's really packed. So those guys, what time is it now? 7 o'clock at night. So those guys have been working 
uh, probably a 12 hour shift today easily a 12 hour shift in the field so cozy comfort cottage so this area here there's a lot of agricultural work and uh, most of that work uh, the state of Florida allows you don't have to be a US citizen or even a legal resident there's a new law in Florida that says uh, you know migrant workers if you're working for agriculture you don't need to be a, a legal in, in the country and the reason they've determined that is because the state of Florida the government of Florida has determined that no US citizen is going to work 12 14 hour shifts in agriculture so they basically are allowed to use uh, labor that's not legal so the you know those guys up in Tallahassee in the capital of Florida they sat down and they said hey you know um, hello you know they sat down and they said you know we have to uh, what's up y'all good man see I mean amazing people out here I mean, these are just great little places um, but then people uh, you know in the capital they sat down and they said you know what um, basically we understand that a U.S. citizen or U.S. even a permanent resident isn't going to do these jobs. So we have to allow um, people who are not legal to do these jobs. So with that law in place, it allows. Look at the lake. Papi, mira, tú las viste en esa casa atrás. Atrás de esa casa hay un lago. So basically, um, you know, the law is for agriculture and basically uh, it's a law that basically allows uh, people who are in agriculture to be able to use illegal labor without any uh, concerns about the legality of it. And that's why in this area you see a lot of agriculture and honestly, no U.S. citizen is going to do these jobs, uh, picking tomatoes, picking oranges. Um, you know, a lot of people say illegals are taking our jobs, but come on, really? Hey, I'm a U.S. citizen. Um, I'm a naturalized citizen. It means I was born somewhere else, but became a U.S. citizen. I'm not picking tomatoes. If I, I'd almost rather starve than pick tomatoes, basically. Like if it came down to picking tomatoes. I don't know what I would do because I wouldn't do it. And most Americans feel the same way that I do. Uh, to say otherwise is a downright lie. I mean, when you say illegals are taking our jobs, I don't know what jobs you're talking about. So this is a mobile home park, but it says residents only. There's a beautiful lake here. Let me see if I can pull up to this lake here. The view is just stunning, so. blowing at us today um, I'm not a professional bass fisherman but I, I have this GoPro and there's a cord where we fish and we did an experiment one day with the GoPro and if the water is the wind is blowing in, on shore there's no fish on that side if it's all you know it's basically like like here we look at this lake the wind is blowing at us right so on this bank here and on the other bank there's gonna be nothing the fish are gonna be on the sides so 